Oh man, that team always crazy, <laughs> always get us in a good mood on a Friday. Pumping man. it up, pumping Brilliant it up. stuff. Now, next up on your Fugger Breakfast Show, we take a look at the sport of polo. Now, normally mm. um, it's a very prestigious type of sport attended by royalty and celebrities, which makes it a brilliant vehicle and a perfect opportunity to raise much needed funds for worthy causes. And talking about the pink polo that recently mm. took place, you were there, which was a fantastic was. event, a huge yeah. splash on the Cape Town calendar. The spotlight was shone very brightly on creating awareness around breast cancer and also supporting one of our favorite charities, the Chalk Cancer Childhood Foundation. Absolutely. Now, Centron Pink polo they decided this year the theme for it and the celebration around it was really to highlight and bring awareness to breast cancer and it was a beautiful event because let's be honest cancer doesn't care about your bank balance or whether you're a celebrity or royalty or not so this is what went down We have been getting revved up for the ninth annual Pink Polo and the day has finally arrived. Pink over here, pink over there, and pink everywhere. Everyone gathered here, all the celebs, influencers, breast cancer survivors, and their supporters. All this for a great charity event. Sintron Pink Polo raises awareness not only for the fight against breast cancer, but this year, Reik Nietling and the team also raised funds for the Childhood Cancer Foundation of South Africa. Why have you and Valdivy been so committed to shining a light on breast cancer? We like to um, think that business is a little bit more about making money uh, and also doing good. And, um, and that's why we are so passionate about Pink Polo. We want to uh, just increase the platform and try to raise as much money as possible. Well, people are here in their numbers to support this cause. What does it feel like for you seeing this great response? For us, it's always a little bit nerve-wracking. When you launch it, you are not sure if people are going to show up. Uh, but the ticket sales um, are doing great every single year. It's, uh, it's very important. It's polo with a purpose. Uh, so we love the polo lifestyle, the polo sports. Uh, however, it's obviously for breast cancer awareness. So there's a greater, greater purpose. And it really impacts everyone's lives directly. We've been involved with uh, Cintron Pink Polo directly for five years now. And as a company, we believe that it's a very, very important uh, charity event uh, because we believe in business for good and business for a greater purpose. Um, so obviously for breast cancer awareness, um, it, it, as a business, we want to raise awareness for this, for this cause. The Pink Polo is now in its ninth year. What's it like having to keep it reinvented and looking better and better every year? I try to push the team to, to come up with new ideas. For instance, you know, this year we've got amazing MCs. We've got you know, former Miss World, uh, Relin Strauss and Catlejo, which I think it's amazing to have a Miss World as your MC. So, uh, and then also the entertainment and the Polo keeps on getting better and better every year. Here to lend their star power and boost ticket sales were personalities like Mops Mapunyane, Africa Milani, Nico Panaggio, Ilana Africa, Sim Gezi and Lunga Shabalala. Lunga, we've seen you do quite a bit of charity work in the past, but this is a different one for you. It's uh, around cancer awareness and really shining the spotlight on that. You are here today. What does that feel like for you to be part of this? Uh, firstly, it's an amazing event altogether. Uh, but the message behind it, I feel as if it's more of a message for me anyway. It touches me on the line of, when I say our people, uh, they, they re they're very not aware of the fact that it's a thing. Like cancer is a thing. You're not cursed in your habit. It's not a situation where uh, your family is going through a bad omen. People have it and there are ways to prevent it. And if something like this is happening to kind of guide us towards awareness for all people, then it's a, it's a good event for me. Rashad Mayweather, you have decided to come out today. It's a celebration of the survivors of breast cancer, but also shining the spotlight on all those many women who suffer with cancer. What made you come out here? Uh, honestly, my, my publicist, Truder, he knows that my grandfather, he passed away from cancer. So even though it's not breast cancer, it's a form of cancer. So he's like, this is a great event that you should come to uh, support breast cancer. Plus, it's just a very classy event that really shows you the greatness and the great people in South Africa. So I can. I think it's important for anybody who's in any kind of uh, position of impact or influence to plow forth into the community and especially working for a show like Expresso that has over years now not just been an inspirational show but one which I believe 
firmly does plough back into the community and this is just one of the ways in which we've partnered up with a worthy organisation and a great event as well to give back. I think it's incumbent on all of us to do what we can to better the community. It is so important for me to get involved in this type of cause. As a medical doctor and um, women's health activist, it's important for me to know that events like these who attract so many people have a purpose. Sintron Pink Polo, presented by Vodacom, lived up to its reputation as a world-class event with a greater purpose. Nature was in on the game, ticket sales and funds raised surpassed expectations and the difference will be felt in Lives Saved.